Hi everyone! Today I want to draw some roses with you. First, I try to draw roses from memory. Well, I guess that looks like roses. I try different points of view. Above, on the side, without stem, with stem. Maybe with some pink it'll be more obvious. But I'm sure I can do better. Another one, my not? With some leaves. I think they are sharp and the edge is very to it. Then I think I would learn by reference. So I use the picture of a rose I took in the garden this spring. Isn't it lovely? I really do love roses. I outlined the rose petal. It takes time, but I find it very relaxing. I start outlining the leaves too, but I gave up. I was more interested by the flower. Once done, I come back to my sketchbook. I try with a alcohol based marker. First, I do the shape. Then I do some shadows and highlights. I kind of like this one at the stage, but I start to blend the colors, and I think it was a bad idea. I do my best to fix it, but I can't, so I try another one. A little bit better. Now let's try to do it with brush. I took a reference on the internet of the white pink rose and I start by blocking in shapes with the very pale pink. Of course, this paper isn't made for paint, so it crinkles. I outline the petals. It 
it starts to look like a rose to me. Then I mix some yellow with white to have a pale yellow, a little bit too pale with the olive seeds. To improve, I study colors by using my picture. There it is. I really like it. The colors, shape, shadows and the highlights. And so it is time to move in on a new piece with the same reference. I grab a sheet of paper and tape it so it won't crinkle a lot. I love doing this. Why? I just know! It feels satisfying. Anyway, I start by sketching the rose with a dark pink pencil. I want to be sure of the shape and the proportions. And I think the lines are okay. I erased it just to barely see it through the pain. Then I do like in my first try. I just looking in the shapes for some pale pink. I do it really carefully, and then... Well, I just dropped my brush. <laughs> I wasn't surprised. I am a really clumsy person. This kind of thing happens to me almost every day. <laughs> but let's go back to the painting. I finished blocking in the shape. And then, with the pink here, pale pink, what a strange name. Well, I hope that you understand. I paint some edges, which are pinkier than the center of the petal. Then I use some pale yellow. And the darker one before mixing pink and yellow to have this beautiful coral in the center of the rose. Then I come back with some pink to the edges of some pebbles. It gets pinkier and pinkier. I really like it.
the night dark and the turtles in the background. And I blend a little bit. It makes a kind of shadow, but I am not really proud of it. It's not too bad though. I think that the petals are a little bit blurred, so I take a thinner brush and a darker pink, really bright and pretty, to outline it. I make the outlines a little bit rough. I really like it. I think it brings a little sketch vibe to the painting. I correct some mistakes for bites. Then I blend the edges of petals. I think it looks like smoothier. And it's done! Time to wait the paint dry. I sign my piece and remove the tape. Again, I find it so satisfying. And there is the final piece. I hope you like it. See you soon!